Well, I suppose let's get this started. So I accidentally did one when I was kind of messing around with stuff. Um, there was one to, I guess, the way I would look at it is there was one to lift a mission trailer off the ground and I like tried it and I was like, ah, it won't go that high. And yeah, it just lifted it enough and it popped the achievement. So, um, so yeah, let's see what we got. We got. 10 to go then um so i think what i'm gonna do with this one is we're gonna drown something over here and then we're going to grab a crane vehicle crane it out of the water and then winch it back to the garage so we can kind of kill two birds with one stone you have to just go in the water break the engine uh let's see Specific. I need something without a snorkel, though. We'll have to take a take something without a snorkel. Um, I have just the vehicle too. What up, Artem? So I need to buy a P12. So th there's a couple that I are going to be really quick. Um, like I said, that one we need to kind of set up. This one I need to do. I just haven't, and I don't believe I've owned a P12. So therefore, I think that's one of the vehicles I need to buy yet. Then we have a Zix, which is what I have right here. And the 10% is actually from delivering a set of long logs on multiplayer with my friend. <laughs> so, so that is the one piece of uh, cargo that I've delivered with the Zix. Um, and I don't know why I haven't done this one, but I think I'm good there. This one is... Pretty sure just the P12. And then that one is... Uh, I don't know if multiplayer screws with achievements. Um, so I'm going to at least do my achievement run. And then if I'm done with my achievement run, I'm probably just going to screw around on my normal save. Uh, let's see. Convoy... Transport a winch vehicle with broken engine from one match, but that's the other one. Okay, so that's the one that I need to do. And then this one I have, I'm almost done with, and I have a vehicle over by some pumpkins. And this is the other one that I need to buy that I don't think I've ever bought, clearly. So let's go to the garage. Let's see how many of these we can do quick. Um, so I'm pretty sure... Oh, shoot. I need to go to Tamir. Okay, so let's start by buying an Azov. There's an achievement, and there's a own every Russian vehicle in the game. So that's two. <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to sell this thing back right away, because... Oops. I don't really use it. Um, and then... we got to go back... Here. That's I figured I'd start up after he was done. We do need to keep the P12. That's under heavy. P12. Purchase. And there we go. Stars and Stripes and Model Collector. So that was four achievements real quick. <laughs> four of the ten. Um, let's just set this thing up right away because I'm going to keep it. I'm going to need to use it. So, Stock. Um, We're going to do the... Apparently these are very good. These ATHD threes, all terrains for this thing. This is a this is a Nathan Province thing. I figured out having crappier tires on this thing actually makes it good, like not lock up. I could put OHDs on it, but I don't know. I guess there is mud tires for this thing too, isn't there? I don't know, we gotta do work in Tamir with it, so 
we'll play it by ear and see how it works out. And if we have to change the tires, we have to change the tires. Um, so we're going to probably just saddle high this thing. And then just throw it away. Interesting, 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 interesting. Okay, so let's go back out. Actually, let's go back to Tamir. This moron over here is ready to smash some pumpkins. And finish that one. And then I think I didn't get the, which is weird to me. But I've never it been by the tower. Because there's whatever, the two Lenin statues here in Tamir. And like, I've never been by the one that's by the factory here, apparently. I definitely remember like going by the one in Zindagoras and like driving in circles around it being like, how come I didn't get the achievement yet? This was one of the vehicles I needed to buy, too. I wasn't sure if it was, but it it gave me percent. Yeah, there we go. Once a farmer, always a farmer. Okay, so let's see. We have that one. That one. That one. And this one for the towers. Oh, and convoy. So let's go see if we can find this tower. Is my stream a decent quality? I, I don't know if it does it run at 720. I, don't, I think I can only run 720p as well. I just I'm widescreen and I run high settings. I, probably, I bet you if I turn my settings down, I probably could run 1080, but. I don't know. I like running my ultra wide, so I don't really want to screw with it. Um, where's this factory? This factory's like right here. Oops. These things, um, I feel like I don't remember the Vorons using as much fuel as they, as they actually do. These things are thirsty, man. Karen took the kids, yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Karen took the kids. Uh that is that is like the greatest name, man. I just I wish I wish I would have thought of it. That's the only part that... <laughs> Karen. Fucking Karen. Ah, here's the tower right here's the statue right here. So is this gonna pop me an achievement if I drive over by this thing? What the hell? I've been to this warehouse! Apparently I just didn't get close enough to this statue. I just got the achievement. Alright. Well... It is what it is. All right, let's go back to Michigan and deliver some stuff with the Zix. Now we need to do some work. I'm hoping it counts trailer deliveries. I'm assuming it does. Hey, I'm doing this uh, missing machinery to pick stuff off the ground quest. This is one of the last things I have here in this save on this map. Then I can go over to Smithville and do some stuff over there. Ooh. Hello, leg. Uh, I think that was just my computer. Hopefully that didn't do anything weird. Yeah, I think it froze on the screen as well.
Okay, let's uh, let's just toss this in the bed here, and then. I'm going to take this trailer up to the top of the hill. We'll come back down and get the other one. This thing is actually, like, pretty fucking good, too. Like, that's the crazy part. This Zix is actually, like, really good. Just a good truck. Let's just get up here. I can get to safety. Get flat. And then we'll disconnect. Go back and get that other one. Hopefully I have enough gas. Should. Not too far to get to the turn in. I'm at like half. I drove all the way up here, so I guess, yeah, half is fine. thing doesn't get too tippy when I try to pick this up. I guess we're going to find out. Mm, you know what? Let's, uh, instead of putting it there, I'm going to Put it on the roof. Do one of these. We'll go like that. Um, I've been in every region. Um, I still have a couple of vehicles to get. Like, I have the the K7M, which is like the second tractor in the Glades to get. And then I have the Sprinter to get in Kentucky. Because that's locked behind a series of contracts that I just didn't feel like doing. So, I mean, I've, I've, in fact, here, let's uh, take a look. All. Yeah, I have 121 of 129 upgrades unlocked because there's just some that I haven't gotten. And I didn't go, obviously, for all the watchtowers. Yeah, Tennessee. Sorry. But yeah, I have to go to the Glades and get the, the KM7 at some point, but I realize that you have to, like... Oh, did I just... Be attached that, please. Thank you. I realize that you have to, like, take the harvesters and the cedars and the cultivators and stuff to the other map to do it like I figured there would just be cultivators and stuff on the other map but there's not and I was like I'm not doing this right huh because so, <laughs> you need to like do more farming on the other map to unlock the mission to get the K7M and I was like I don't want to do this I think we're just going to stay in low plus So the question is, is, will this put me to 50%? Because this is 4 and I have 10%, so... If it does, then I can do... I think there's one mission that I have to deliver stuff to the farm. I'll just grab a, a low saddle trailer and just do it all with this thing.
78% complete in the glades and only did two fields so far. That's crazy. Did you also do the one in the, I think it's the Heartlands, is where you get the K7M and you have to like do more farming out there? What's this? Uh, my brother's just sending me funny stuff. That's why I was like, what is this? He fed his kid uh, lemons for the first time the other day and like... <laughs> just was not having it. Okay, one, two, three. That cargo. Uh, I unpacked it. Oops. Okay. So, did that put that one? Yes, it did. Awesome. Okay, so it counts trailer stuff, which is kind of what I figured. Um, yeah, I don't really care about this. Recover. Go to Smithville. Oh yeah, we were gonna do the drowning one. Okay, so let's see. Cook storage. Me a scout. Four by four, perfect. That doesn't have a snorkel on it. Or one of those. <laughs> I could take this thing. This works. Okay, so we need to take this. Over here and drown it. I think there's a little pond or something on the other side. Oh, sorry, I was working on the stuff here. It's in glades when it came out. Never played it again, recently came back. And only two fields ever since I came back. So probably like four or five. Okay, got it. Yeah, I heard that the farming is much less than it originally was, but I think it's still a lot. I just like nicked that. Did you see that? I like just barely nicked this, the guardrail on the side of this thing. Just got turned into crumbled. Hey, what's up, JJ? So I already completed um, five of the the con or not contest achievements that I didn't have. Mainly, it was buying vehicles to get to a hundred percent for those, and for some reason, I didn't have the second London Tower in Amir, and then I did the. Uh... Okay, where's that little pond? Yeah, here we go, right here. Go onto this trailer store. We're gonna we're gonna go glub glub in this trailer store and then grab a train. I was actually gonna tell you to use the GMC, but only if you had the all-wheel drive upgrade for it. Okay. This thing kind of sucks off road, doesn't it? Oh, it'll help if I'm not in neutral, huh? A non upgraded Don 71 is not very good. Yeah, I was, I was gonna have you use the GMC with only if it had all wheel drive. Okay, yeah, then. And I was going to have you use the GMC. That was going to be my choice. All right. 
engine brake engine perfect engine broken exactly what i needed okay so now we gotta go back here i don't know if it's is there a specific kind of crane does it have to be like a bigum crane for this achievement because i have one set up for it i have this guy this guy makes a very awesome crane vehicle by the way extremely stable uh let me put the other tires back on i like the azov tires Yeah, I should be able to crane this out of the water and then winch it here. I must have, like, done that at some point in time. You know where I probably did it? Island Lake. Because, you know, you, like, a lot of times you just, like, you, you hop into Island Lake from, like, Drummond Island. And, like, you just, like, blast all the way down the southern path until you get to Smithville Dam. Or, you know, actually, you know what I bet it is? Quarry. Quarry and Tamir. That's the one that you do it on, because it's so fast to go all the way across from one entrance, one gateway to the other. So yeah, I'm gonna kill two birds for one stone with this one, because I need to winch a vehicle back to a garage from a different map and this is a very close garage to that spot oh yeah alaska you can just take the road that's true too i mean quarry is sort of the quarry is road all the way go across from ground lands to zimnagorsk What is the what is the stream quality anyhow? Is it 720 or 1080? I don't remember. Also, I went back to uh, Streamlabs, by the way, JJ, which is why I have so I have working overlay. Like you can't see it, but to the right of where it says Riverside Repair over here, I have an overlay of the chat on the screen, and you guys see it down in the bottom left. I have a chat bot that's playing in the bottom left. Oh, does it go all the way up to 1440 on PC? Really? I didn't think it was that high. Yeah. It is what it is. I'll take it. I know my recordings go up to 1440. But I didn't think that the streaming quality was that high. Oh, well, I mean, whatever. I don't, I'm not dropping packets. Let's just double check. Your stream quality is good. Zero dropped frames. 6299 kilobytes a second. Uh, oops, except I want to close that window. I don't want that up. Okay. So this should give us one achievement. I'm not even going to put the wings out. I'm just going to use the crane watch. Yep, there it goes. Problem solved. Okay, that's one achievement. I'm just going to set it down. Leave the engine broken. Turn the vehicle that doesn't like to turn around. <laughs> uh, and smash my tire. That was good. I kind of felt like doing something today and I was like, I have a bunch of achievements that I haven't gotten. I'm going to look up today while I'm putzing around. I'm going to see what it takes to do all these achievements. And I was like, yep, yeah, none of these are really that hard. Come with me, Don71. 
We're going to the garage. Able to use Smithfield Dam. Uh, me, I'm from Wisconsin, so I'm like one state over from JJ. We're both we're both Northwestern people. Speaking of, I need to send you this video, JJ. You, do you know that you betcha guy, the uh, like bearded guy that does all of like the Midwestern jokes? He's a he's a YouTuber guy, but he 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 recently posted one that was like how to speak Midwestern. And I was like dying laughing because I was like, yep, yeah, that, yep, yeah, uh-huh, that. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. It was like like the, the Midwestern goodbye is whelp. Like you say whelp, then you sigh, and then you knee slap. And I was like, I was like, yes. <laughs> and then he like demonstrated, well, Good stuff. Be right back. I just realized I just did that all with not I mean it this thing is pretty good but and it's Michigan but I, I didn't turn all the drive on on this thing once yeah the old knee slap and then and then he said something about like the weather like if you have to you have to complain about the weather and like I was like yes <laughs> Hey, convoy. Okay, so we got that one. Uh, let's get our Zix back out. And we need to do some work with the Zix. So let's slap a saddle low. Oh, you can have a saddle low and a crane on this thing? Dude, this is going to be great. It's getting to be nighttime. Uh, so let's see. I think I have, I have something I can do here. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Not that one. This one. Yeah, this one right here. Uh, oh shit, we gotta go get wooden planks though. Um, I mean, we could we could go, just go get these wooden planks and then steal this trailer. Uh, except that's sort of like out of the way. There are wooden planks somewhere else. No, I gotta go all the way back to Smithfield, don't I? Or here. Oh. There's that trailer. Oh, this place has got wooden. Yeah, I'm not driving all the way up there. Screw that. Um, yeah, whatever. We'll just go get that trailer. If I have to bring fuel out, I'll bring fuel out. Yeah, we have five more pieces of cargo to deliver with this. And this is six, so... We should be good there.
yeah, I could have finished the pumpkins here, but it was like, there's not as many pumpkins here, I think. Uh, from what? From PlayStation? I uh, know. That's a different save. It's even like a different copy of the game. It's like really dumb. Yeah, it's it sucks. Like I have, I would love to play my save on PlayStation. Uh, yeah, I don't think it transfers from any version of console, but you'd like double check the the old Google. But I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Yep, yeah, it's annoying. I should probably activate that contract, huh? Yeah, JJ, honestly, I feel like um, if you did a save with nothing but these trucks, right? Like these little trucks, the single axle off-road trucks. So you could you could probably even include like the highway trucks in there if you really wanted to but like highway trucks plus these little trucks dude would be so good it'd be so fun like this thing is actually like really good i did a i did a load of long logs with this thing and it was like totally fine here in michigan too Like, it's got plenty of power, it's got decent fuel economy. It just, like, if you get into the really hard regions, right? Like, it'll probably struggle a little bit, but, like, I bet you it could do... I should take this thing to Alaska and see if I can tow, like, a big trailer with it. I don't think... Actually, no, I don't think this one has high saddle. There's other ones that have high saddle, though. Like, you could use the rock for high saddle and i think there's maybe the warthog has high saddle one of them one of the other ones has well has high saddle Yeah, with these uh with these off-road doubles this thing is actually like pretty sick with the new jack doubles okay. let's take this thing out to the road and then i'm just gonna like dump these on the ground i feel like if i do ever continue this save um Honestly, one of my favorites right now is like a huge underdog. But I'm like having I've been playing a lot on this save in particular with the international. Um the what the heck is it? International I'll show it to you in the garage. It's it's the DLC one that you get for free if you have normal mode. Um like HX520 or whatever that one. And like, that thing is great. That thing is like really good. Uh, yeah, let's just go kind of in this field. But yeah, I'm, I'm like a fan of the underdogs as of late. But like, all, I mean, all time, I'm like a huge fan of like the Taiga, which is, it's like not as good. Oh, you had a phone call? Yeah, no problem. Uh, 
I don't know, I feel like the Taiga is just not as good as I remember it being. But I'm, I'm like a fan of the... Like CT681... Like those, those like relatively quick... Heavy duty slash... Like other trucks, right? Like they're just... There's like a lot of good ones out there. I should probably grab a fuel truck from the garage. Actually, no, we're going to a gas station. Oh yeah, I use the croc all the time. I love the croc. Like I said, man, you could definitely do your idea that you were talking about of doing nothing but these trucks and highway trucks. Like, just use this, the Acteon, the Warthog. Um, you could probably include the... Because I feel like the... Using the Kodiak is almost like a detriment. It's actually not a pot. Oh, I always... I gotta turn. I always, I always miss this turn. They are all the single axle trucks, basically, is how I would word it. Like, all the ones that don't have double axle in the back. So Kodiak sort of counts in that. And then highway trucks. Like, not including the W990. Unless you really... I mean, I guess you probably could use the W992, but... Like, the W990 here in Michigan is cheating. Like, it's so good. You could, you could probably do all of Michigan with the W990. Just by itself. Use it for scouting. Use it for everything else. Damage. Oh, was that one of the quests that you had, or the contracts that you had left? Mm. Fill up all the way. Yeah, I still wouldn't like use it. As, like, I feel like it's sort of... It's like using the 605R, right? Like, like when I was playing this last time, I I pulled the 605R out because it's one of my fuel trucks. <laughs> like, I turned it into a fuel truck because I was like, I'm not going to actually use this thing. I'm just going to, like, throw a fuel tanker on it and have it be a fuel truck. Treat it, treat it like something that you drive somewhere and park. You know? But yeah, today's episode in hard mode in uh, Scandinavia, I drove all the way up the hill. Um, I don't know if I... I probably don't have it visible on this save. But on, on By the Lake along the side by where the movie set is you have to go up that hill on the east side to that tower and there's like a there's like a metal beam turn in to knock out a bridge and i drove the Pran star all the way up there in the snow in the mud made it all the way up to the thing and then tipped it over right at the very end i was like and it was because I was like freaked out like I noticed right at the very end I was like oh crap I have like no fuel left so like I kind of like rushed right at the very end and yeah that was the mistake I could have I could have went around and made it and turned it in but it was like super low on fuel and I was like oh man I'm not gonna make it Go get these bricks right away. Uh, I probably don't need all wheel drive either. Yeah, you'll have, you'll have to check it out. <laughs> it was like the first 20 minutes of the episode. I was like crane walking up the hill and, <laughs> and like unpacking the trailer, unpacking the trailer, like. Di removing the trailer, like disattaching the trailer, 
and then like reattaching it and then like pushing up with my crane and winching and right in but it, it made it up i got all the way up to the top and then and then i was like oh, i gotta go to the other side and i'm out of fuel i need to rush and i like fell off the edge i tried to sneak around and it was a bad idea I, I, what I, so I named the episode a triumphant failure because I felt so good about the fact that I drove up there with the trans tire still like I didn't even care I was like I need I wouldn't need to bring it probably bring a fuel anyhow because it was like almost out of fuel there was no way I was making it down off of that hill and so like I would have had to bring it fuel regardless and I was like you know what like I'm not even mad like I made it, I like drove up that hill. It was, uh, it was a challenge. Yeah, no problem. No problem. You know, the funny part is, uh, I can tell you that it's already over. Season 11, I'm already done. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little mini break. Um, cause there's like a few episodes left, I think. And then, and then I'm gonna take a little break off from doing recordings next week for the rest of it. And yeah, no, it was fast. And then, uh, I think I'm going to start season 10 with a live stream sometime either next weekend or like not this coming weekend, but the following weekend and, or possibly that Monday. And then I'm going to need, need like a day or two to get recordings going for season 10. And then I think what I'm going to do for season 13 is I'm going to use this save, which is my normal save, and I'm just going to use whatever and do season 13 as live streams and just do it whenever. Whenever I have time to do a live stream, I'll just do a season 13 live stream. Because I'm not like in a rush to do it because I feel like it's going to be pretty quick. that's sort of my plan i think i'm just uh gonna gonna keep this normal save as the do everything save going forward i don't really oop, i'm freezing again all right there we go i think my i think i have a windows update queued as well and it's like, it's supposed to not do that, but I saw the little icon stating it wanted me to restart, and I was like, nope. <laughs> nope, I'm not falling for that bait. So this should be Yeah, exactly. Like I don't I don't think it's going to take a super long time to do season 13. Yep, there you go. What's a mile? Okay. So I guess I'll just leave this trailer here in case I do do this mission.
or do you do this region? I might 100% this save just because it's a normal save and why not, you know? But yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of on board with what Nathan's been saying lately of like once you have money, cause I have like 300,000 bucks still on my hard mode save and that's after buying like I don't know, eight vehicles or something between season 12 and season 11 I've bought many vehicles. And like I still have 300,000. So it's like it it, there's not any difficulty to hard mode besides for annoyance now at this point. So, like, why even bother? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm still going to do the hard mode backwards thing just because I'm having fun with it. But, like, until I'm not having fun with it, I'm probably going to just keep doing it. But I'm not going to, like, jump around on that save, especially if I'm, like, in the middle of season 10. I don't want to like spend a bunch of money to transfer my trucks over to season 13 and then transfer them back to season 10 to finish it, you know? Oh, did they finally fix the crashing on Xbox? That's awesome. That is good news. Okay, so let's uh, recover this. Oh, I needed to take a look at this though. So what do we have left? We have the P12 thing. That's it. We have uh, 10 pieces of cargo to deliver in Tamir with the P-12. That's it. All right. Um, let's go to Tamir. I didn't do... All I did was open up the map so I could get the upgrades. Um, I mean, it crashed immediately when... What was it, last week then that uh, Zatanna and Wolf Fox came in and played with me? Like, it immediately crashed. And then we had problems with people not being able to use fuel, so I don't think it's fixed. Well, let's see. What should we do here? We need to get rid of the, the big hangy bumper. First of all, let's do that one. Uh, of course, we need to put the horns on. What else should we put on here? We need beacons. You always need beacons. Uh, oh. That's exhaust? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, let's do that one. I like that one. You're kind of cool wheels. Can't see the back wheels. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, those look kind of cool. Um, okay, what color should I paint it? That lime green, orange, orange. Okay, like this one? The orange and black? Or just solid orange? All right, I like it. Um, so I used to, many, many years ago, own a 96 XJ Cherokee. Um, and I did occasionally find myself in mud pits with that thing, but it was also my daily driver. So I didn't, like, go crazy with it. But it, it had some trail stripes on it, that's for sure. By the time I got rid of it, there was some, some scratches along the side from rubbing against trees. So... <laughs> So yes, in the past I have been and gotten into some mud. Okay, let's see what we can do. We got oil barrels. We could deliver six oil barrels. Five oil barrels. 
Yeah, why don't we start with that one? Why don't we start with that one? Of course, we need to use the, uh, the heavy trailer. We do this three axle, the bigum. Does it really make a difference at all for this the three axle? I feel like all it does is make it heavier. And this one actually has better tires. Uh, like this one clearly has highway tires. This one has like two mud tires, which is one less, one less axle to get hung up on stuff. And eh, we're just gonna use that one. I'm uh, I'm doing the Nathan Robbins trick, by the way, of using all-terrain tires to see if it uh, can make it through Tamir with the all-terrains. Because he like vows by these, because they allow slip, so you don't get tire lockup. sneak this in there correctly yes I can some days I can do this perfectly perfect like backing up these trailers some days I'm completely awful at it I can't explain one way or the other When the kids got stopped, <laughs> I had to I had to read what you said that you corrected. I was like, wait a minute, what what word got corrected? Oh, kids. That makes it funny. Um, where do I have to go for the first one? The village. Okay, we're just taking the road. We're gonna take the road to here, and I guess we'll go through get fuel. Go deliver to the village, deliver to the factory, turn around, come back up, deliver to the farm. This is one of the vehicles I needed to buy to get a hundred. 100% of vehicles owned of American vehicles. That was like perfect opportunity to buy it, use it, do the achievement, and then sell it again because I'm probably never going to use it. <laughs> like it's not bad it's just not good either you know close close buddy quite close yeah pretty crazy pretty crazy considering that I started in October and like had like Six. Been pretty fun, that's for sure. I I like have tons. I have like way too much fun editing videos. I don't know why. It, it's like the nerd in me, right? Like I like the, the aspect of like putzing around with that.
Yeah, it was definitely single digits when I posted my first hard mode video. Okay. Hey, it's a 15 and 6 combo. Ayo. See how it does in this mud. It's got weight. It's got weight. It's just there's a lot of mud here to get through, so. Uh, me, I am old. I am 43. I'm, a, I'm an old man. Gray hair and everything. A lot of it comes from my job. Some of it. Some of it comes from my family. <laughs> but most of it comes from my job. Yeah, it's definitely not locking up with all terrains, and it's just driving through this really nasty mud. That's kind of crazy. Almost locked up right there. It almost locked up. That's right, there's a trailer store here. Okay, I can come back here and get rid of this. Actually, I probably won't get, it, get rid of this trailer, because... I actually fill up. Yeah, I did. I'm gonna dip my toe into this repair zone. There we go. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind. I'm just gonna go through this fence. Trying to cut out that looks like it's too much too wide for this. I'm probably already too wide because I'm not cutting correctly. Um, I'm I don't I don't understand kilometers or liters. My brain doesn't comprehend this, these weird things. I do, but if I, 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 even from day one when I started playing this, like I, like as soon as I realized I had a choice, I was like, oh, and I'm just switching it to do that. Look, I like my 93 gallons instead of like a nice even number of 350 liters or whatever this truck is. The only time, honestly, the only time I wish that I used the metric system in this game is when you're doing seismic missions. Because when you're doing seismic missions and you're using this version, it is like 0.9 miles, 0.8 miles, 0.7 miles. And like it doesn't ever convert to like yards or feet or anything. So like you don't really know if you're like super close or kind of close you just kind of have to guess and get from point one to zero whereas if you use meters it's like 12 meters 13 meters you know uh, I keep thinking I'm going the wrong way oh yeah I, I, I definitely played from the beginning but like as soon as they added it I was like I was like oh yeah gallons Sign me up. So yeah, I just ever since they changed it, I switched. This thing actually looks pretty good with these goofy all-terrain tires, too. Yeah, I would I very easily switched. Yeah, 
Okay, there's one. And how do we get to this next one? We gotta go here into the factory. Posting consistency. I mean, I I do every I do episodes once a day. I like I definitely switched over to once a day once I like did the backwards the hard mode backwards thing. I kind of like committed to doing one a day. So I mean, I have my and it's it's always the same time because I always do them ahead of time. So like YouTube allows you when you make videos allows you to schedule your videos and I always schedule them for 5 a.m. my time uh, every day. Oh yeah. I'm not playing in hard mode. I don't have to be at night. So, I mean, I, I do post my recorded videos, but yeah, I, I'm never going to be able to have a streaming schedule ever. Um, just because I have a full-time job and I have a wife and, right, like, do lots of stuff with my family and stuff so like yesterday randomly my dad called me and was like hey you want to come over for dinner and i was like sure i'm not doing anything <laughs> so yes the cat who gives me poop my yes my uh my um cat and my dog and dog that barks at the tv and my cat that has a 800 dollars litter box that uh notifies me when it's pooping it's so worth it i i hate to say i hate to admit that like but it is so worth it oh did i is this only four? This is only four. I don't know how to math. Okay. Where do I gotta go here? I need to you go up to here. Get some fuel, come back out of here. Come through here, go this way, because this is the easier way. This way. Actually, I don't even really need to go through there to get fuel, do I? Let's just go there. Uh, except that way is kind of muddy. We'll make it to this way. Ruh row. There's a hill there that's not letting me out. <laughs> uh, let's see. I need to go a little further. There we go. Good enough. Boy, high is pretty slow in this thing, isn't it? Like, really fuel efficient, though. This thing gets, like, really good fuel economy, doesn't it? But this is an auto with all-wheel drive on. I guess it's got an advanced special, so there is no all-wheel drive penalty. So there is that. But still, 3, 3.1... 3.3, that's low. With its meaty all-terrain tires.
Come on. The sound for my cargo. <laughs> That means the sound levels are good. If you can hear the cargo, that means the sound levels are good. Age is the only region where you can see the galaxy things. I don't know. I didn't know that that was a fact about the glades. That's actually kind of cool. a stump right there. I see you, stump. I see you as well, stump. You can see... Okay, so you can see, like, the Milky Way type of thing. Like, uh, whatever. That's, uh, kind of cool. Not gonna lie, didn't know that. I'm kind of excited to get to Glades on that on my hard mode save. Like, cause it's gonna be backwards again. I'm gonna have to buy back. I'm gonna have to save up because I sold the K700. I need to buy it back. It's kind of neat. Oh my gosh, the the Tamir Fog Man. And look at this thing go through mud with all terrains. I mean, mind you, it's like Diffloc always on, which I didn't realize that this thing was Diffloc always on, but... Maybe I will keep this thing. It's like, it's got that, it's got that good underdog feeling that I like. Like, it's not super strong, but yet it's like, definitely capable of doing things. pole where I make my big wide turn can this thing have like a regular bed I don't think so I think it's just this gigantic trailer I suppose I could like 
pull a smaller trailer, but kind of what's the point then? Then you're not really like using it the way it's designed, which is to have weight over the axles. The nostalgia you get from SnowRunner sometimes. Hell yeah, man. I feel that too a lot. Like, even even just being here in Tamir, even though I, like, really didn't like Tamir. Like, I just feel like Tamir was just such a unsatisfying zone to complete. But, like, it's still, like, it's still, like, OG, you know? Like, doing this stuff is like, yep, I was there. I remember doing this before Rift was around. And they like added rift in your and we're like this is the entrance to rift it's like up this little rock wall and i, m I remember tamir being like so hard for me to I was just like so not good at the game and like didn't understand tires and importance of like taking shortcuts. I just like took roads everywhere and I was just like, oh, that's right. I got to drive down this S mud road again and I would just like always take the road. Yeah, four years. I mean, it's really not that crazy for me because I've been playing WoW for almost 20 years. And, like, kind of kind of taking a hiatus from playing WoW, but uh, why did I not turn? Oh, because I didn't make a correct path. I need to go over this, but it's actually not a terrible place. It's going to have to, like, jackknife this trailer. Get it through here. No, no, in World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is almost a 20-year-old game, and I've been playing it since it was freaking beta. So, I, I get it. I get that feeling of nostalgia, but in the same respect, the game is, like, not at all what it used to be. And the community is kind of kind of garbage, in all honesty. I really like the... I, I, li I love the game. The state of the game is great right now, but the, uh, the people playing it are eh. Oh, five wooden planks to the railway station, except going to that sawmill kind of sucks. Um, that would be five, though. Are we at 40%? Yes, we are. Okay. So I need six pieces of cargo. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What's that one contract? There's a contract that's like this one. Right here, two, two, and one. Gosh darn it, that's five as well. Um... Ugh, that's sort of on the way though I could do actually that would work I'll do the two of cement here from here to there and then I'll grab five and come back and that'll be my <laughs> I went back in time <laughs> yeah not not, not, not Snow Runner. I'm just comparing it to other games that you play for a long time, right? You know, like... Um... I guess I can just... We'll just leave this here in case... In case I decide to... Do more of this zone at some point. Buy another one. Stop. I hate that when you like coast out of the zone. Yeah, the the old World of Warcraft is not in a not in a great state right now. Let's put it that way. Yeah, 
it could be a whole lot better. And like I said, the game itself is is uh, is in a really good spot. Like they definitely did a lot of things to make it better, but the uh, the community is like just complete garbage. People playing it are, make it terrible, make me not want to play it, and I'm not. What are you having for dinner? Leftover Easter egg bake. Ooh, nice. Sounds yummy. Did I tell you the story about that? The, uh... Brisket that I made for Easter. Did I tell you about that? It, 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 like, turned into a fiasco, almost. Like, it was definitely, like, one of the best ones that I made. And then my brother-in-law came there and ate three pieces and left. He ate like three big slabs of it that were was meant to be like per person almost, you know? And uh, yeah, and then he left. And I was really mad. Uh, I think... So yeah, that's why we didn't have enough because he came there for an hour, was hungry, and just kept eating brisket and right like like bro that's for everybody it was a six pound freaking brisket it ended up like where people were getting like a little tiny chunk of it because that was all that was left Yeah, everybody loved it. Everybody was like, man, this is the best brisket I've had in a while. I was like, yeah, this is definitely the best one I've made. Like, it hasn't been better than this. And yeah, there was, there was just not enough. Like, next year I'll have to do, like, a 10-pound or something. Uh, yeah, I was going to go this way. Amazing, ha! <laughs> I get it. Don't crash. Okay. Thought I was gonna like nose dig. Look at this thing just trudging through the mud. Telling you, man. The old, the old Nathan Province. He's onto something. He's, uh, he's an intelligent man. Uh, so brisket is like the chest almost. It's very tough meat. Like if you were to cook a brisket, um, the brisket would actually be like very like like if you cooked it like you would cook a steak, right? Where you just like brown it, get it to. Get it to medium rare temperature and then serve it, right? It would be very tough meat. It would be like very tough. So the reason why it's so good though is because, you know, you you soup it up and you season it up real and then you smoke it at really low temperature for a really long time. And the fat and stuff that's in it just sort of melts through it and turns it into this like almost like really like cut with a fork kind of meat you know hey what's up lessons but i love doing them i just 
I haven't like perfected my technique until now, I think. I think I'm just gonna do it the way that I did it this time. Just gotta follow the temperature rule. Cause that's the biggest problem I've always had is it like comes out a little bit tough, like not too tough, but like just tougher than I want it to be. And this time it was like super, like it always comes out tasting good. It just, I always like, I always want it to be a little bit more soft and this this came out like perfectly soft uh hickory i use for this one i usually use hickory gives it a nice like nice like even smoky flavor it's not like too smoky but oh that's right this this is like death bumps in here This thing is just driving through everything with all terrains. Like I'm, I'm just like auto. I'm like just holding the gas down. This is like almost boring. It's like up. Oh, can't go that way. Back up. Fine. <laughs> like. Yeah, so this, these two, and then I'm going to switch contracts to bring the five wood back, and that should be it. And, uh, and all of the achievements are done. Eco action complete. Nice. To be honest, this took a lot less time than I thought it was going to take. Kind of figured it was going to, I was going to have to be like shopping around for vehicles. And so I, at first I, I didn't, it didn't register in my brain that I needed to, I didn't need to get every vehicle in the game. It's just the base game vehicles. So then I was like, oh yeah. And then you don't need DLCs. Cause that was like the one I was worried about the most was like, I don't have enough money to buy every vehicle in the game, let alone I still have like three or four vehicles that are unlocked. Like, I still have to get the Sprinter and the K7M. I think there might be like one more that I just don't have unlocked. Okay, so let's swap this to wooden planks order. And you know, that's actually probably could might be a dumb question, but could you start a new game plus with the vehicles is free and buy them all? Probably actually. You'll never get the F750 or the Zix 605. Really? I love the F750, man. Like, I know it's overpowered, but like, it's also not because you can't like tow a scout trailer because it doesn't tow regular scout trailers. So like if you do the whole like drive around with a scout fuel trailer or even like the radar trailer, like you just have to winch it. So it's actually like not good for scouting, <laughs> which is like kind of weird even though it's sort of the best scout. But getting, getting, once you know how to get the F-750 and the 605R, it's actually, like, not really that bad. Yeah, like, getting them sucks, but they're not that bad. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing that concerns me about it being a one-map region is that it's going to go fast. Making myself a couple of marks here. So I don't get lost. You have to cut off a finger in my mind. <laughs> 
That's great. It's it's like I said, once you know how to do it, it's like especially the F seven fifty. Honestly, getting the F seven fifty is easier than getting its upgrades. Because you have to still go around and get its upgrades, which that's like the longer part. Is driving around and getting all of its upgrades on uh and like especially the last one the engine that you really want to get because like the the big engine for it is like almost necessary and it's like way the heck up in the northwest of Imandra, which is like terrible to get to just takes it's not hard to get to again if you know the route it's not difficult it just takes forever it's like a two-hour endeavor to get all the upgrades for for the uh, f750 and it's like a two or three hour endeavor unless you use the cargo cheat trick which i did use recently to get the 605r on the save so the jj i used your uh grab metal beams from somewhere else with the um with a four slot truck so i, I did use the uh twin steer so you grab put five vehicles in the garage take one out park it by the entrance and then take the twin steer go get cargo put it in the garage in that first slot and then put another vehicle in the garage on top of it and it puts the put your twin steer in your storage with its cargo and i did it in you know where the fastest believe it or not the fastest wet place to get metal beams from the garage is actually cola peninsula because there's a there's a warehouse like right around the corner that has unlimited metal beams BC once you unlock it, but if you don't have it unlocked, Cola, because Cola is just like right, it's right there, it's just automatic. Yeah, I, I don't have BC unlocked. What are you doing, silly dog? You get five of these, right? Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I did to uh, unlock the, uh, and I actually went and got service bear parts from some map. I don't remember which one it was, but I did like four loads of metal beams and just dumped them on the ground, and then like two loads of service bear parts and dumped them on the ground, and uh, went and opened up Cosmodrome, and then went and got the six five. <laughs> I can show you how to do it here in a second. I'll show you I'll show you exactly how to do it. It's like super easy once you know the steps. Now mind you, I wouldn't recommend doing this on hard mode because it's gonna cost you a ton of money to transfer vehicles back and forth because you need to have vehicles in the garage. But uh, normal mode, absolutely. Absolutely, it'll cost you like probably 30 grand to transfer vehicles back and forth if you did it on hard mode though. I guess you have to weigh whether uh, 30 grand is worth it or not, but you could do it at the end of the season, yeah. Take some stuff with you. But yeah, really, there's only two vehicles that work for it. It's the Fem now and then the Twin Steer. Because, like, you always want to use the four slot just so you can have as much stuff as possible, and it needs to be not on a trailer, right? So the maximum you can do is four slots of cargo. Can, you can slap it around like it owes you money or you can be nice to it it's a it's a little ticklish lately it's been being tickled a lot so uh it's like doing the 
stop. I get chills watching this. Just because it's Tamir or because it's foggy? Because Tamir is kind of creepy. Do an all day stream, you'll be like halfway done with the region. There we go. Western wind. Okay, let's uh just confirm achievements. Yep, all done. Sweet. That was way quicker than I thought it was. Have I been to the great? Yeah, the graveyard is super creepy here. It's like. You know that area that was in uh, Expeditions when we first started playing Expeditions that had like the ghosts outside? I was like, man, I'm like, why do they have to put this stuff in these games? Like, it doesn't scare me, but it's like. It's like, why you gotta be creepy? Stop being a creeper, game developers. It's weird. Let's uh, just sell this trailer back. Yeah, then what are you gonna do? If you if you complete the entire region in a day, then your streaming schedule is just screwed. I'm gonna have to like go back to a mirror. Okay, recover. Okay, so let's show you the trick, um, but let's find something I can use it on. I think... Uh, what unlocks the... Let's go to British Columbia quick. Speaking of unlocking British Columbia things. I did unlock part of it, but... Let's see. There it is. That this is the try. I've been using this thing a lot, and it's like so fun. Uh, let me give me a flatbed. Okay, so oh, we are afternooning. So the ferry, right? It's the ferry. I'm just thinking of things that are kind of annoying to unlock. What's the landslide for the road? Oh, I don't have it up. Hold on. Consulting map, uh, snow render. British Columbia, Duncan Bay. Okay, the landslide is one concrete slab, one service bare part, so I could do that one. The consumables for the ferry. Consumables for the ferry. This one. Oh, it's just two consumables. Uh, and they got to be delivered on this side, which is perfect. Okay, so we're going to do... Consumables for the ferry and a concrete slab since, I, since the concrete slab warehouse is way the hell up here. So let's see, where do I get consumables and a concrete slab? Probably Smithville is actually the easiest one for those two. Uh, so yeah, let's activate this. I need two consumables and one concrete slab. So let's, oops, go to Michigan, Smithville Dam. Oh, I still have a truck here. What did I leave here? Oh, I left this here. Okay, this can be our this can be our dummy vehicle. Okay. Uh, actually, let's park it by the by the entrance. Okay, so you go back into your garage. Oops, not that garage. I went to the wrong garage. Mm 
into this garage. And you don't put anything in. Well, you can put the. Uh, I'll just grab the wind steer. There it is. There's the wind steer. And then you just take the more trucks and put them in each slot, right? So you fill up your garage. Okay, so your garage is full, right? This is the slot that you need to put your twin steer back in, this first slot. And we'll show you why in a second. I gotta go get two consumables in a concrete slab first. You know what I don't like about the twin steer is so the the only double tires you can put on which does technically add to stability if you use the double tires um are the smaller tires you can't you there is no bigger double tires for this truck i wonder if they're ever going to fix that but i do actually like using this truck i'm used to its flippiness i've become accustomed to it and maybe another two to three hours yeah yeah you're almost done Okay, two consumables. Yeah, I mean, if you were just playing and not not streaming it, right? <clears throat> I bet you you could do it in under a day. Which is kind of a bummer, because when you think about it, like, we're going to have to wait, what? Probably three more months, four more months for the next for season 14, you know, like to actually play it, not to have it on PTS. But like from between the release, it's usually three or four months, right? It's usually about about the cadence of patches. So we're going to sit after a day of cranking it out and have nothing to do. Which, I mean, I'll have stuff to do. I play other games, but I play lots of other games. Been doing lots of Satisfactory still. It's, like, super fun. I actually, like, dabbled a little bit into Planet Crafter because they just updated it. So I was doing that. I might do some farm sim. A little bit of that. I mean, for me, I have a ton of, I have a ton of SnowRunner content to make. So I'm not going to, like, run out of that for a while. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. So the only sucky part about this method is you always need to like drive to where you get your cargo, get your cargo and then drive back to the garage. You can't recover obviously because you'll lose your um, cargo when you recover. So you do have to like find a map that has the things you need in a relatively quick place to get it. But yeah, this is, uh, this is like, after you showed me this, I tried it, JJ, and I was like, man, this is why have I why did I not know about this? Like this is this is game changing. Like anything that's like, oh, this is gonna take a while to unlock this. Nope. Just just do the transfer trick. I gotta I gotta turn around and back up again, because I'm not gonna make that turn. Good old good old uh wind steer. Yeah, because I mean, think about getting consumables in season 10. You got to go like all the way across, like go all the way to the farm and then come back and then go all the way across again because you can't do it from that side. What, that contest to drive up the hill? Isn't that the one you have to do it in first person too? Get out of here. 
You can get your first person contest, get the hell out of here. One of your favorite con shut up. Yeah, is it Yeah, it's you have to drive up the windy the, the stupid windy path in first person. No way. No way is that fun. There's it's like doubly not fun. Not only is it a contest, but it's a it's driving up the hill in first person. Nope. Nope. <laughs> that's that's one that I didn't repeat. <clears throat> and I didn't care how much money I needed. I didn't care. I just I was like, uh-uh. In cab view, nope. All right. So what you do lessons? Did you see the the garage? I'll show you the garage once we get back. This is the important part. You get your you, you put five vehicles in the garage. You take this one out of the first slot. <clears throat> oh, there's some that I repeat that are like super easy and give you lots of money. But uh, yeah, for the most part, I just do them one and done and I'm I just not going back because they're annoying. So yeah, if you put a vehicle just into storage manually, the cargo goes away. But if you do it this way, the cargo stays. That's what the trick is supposed to do. Is the cargo, it like forces the truck into storage because there's not enough room in your garage. And it forces it into storage with your cargo on it. Because you can go into the, as long as you don't like touch anything. Yeah. As long as you don't touch anything in the garage, the, the truck still has the stuff on it. So, okay. So I'm going to go into the garage. Okay. This truck has got its cargo, right? Okay. So now we have, we go over here. We have five trucks in the garage. Everything's full. And this is in the far left spot. Okay. So I go back out. I go to my Zix. And then I enter the garage with the Zix. So the Zix takes that first, and you see right here, truck western st twin steer is replaced by your current truck. Okay? So this one took its spot, which forced the twin steer into storage. And if I look in storage at the twin steer, you can see it's still got cargo on it. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go global map, and I'm going to go over to British Columbia, to the garage. And I'm going to go to my storage, and there's my twin steer with all of its cargo. <laughs> it's the coolest trick. <laughs> so you just have to have five spare vehicles, basically. to Five spare plus a twin steer or plus a fem. Because you need a four-slot bed to get as much cargo as you can for the trick. So yeah, there's my cargo. Uh, we're going to activate the consumables for the ferry. Yeah, I use this to do all of opening Cosmodrome because I wasn't about to deal with all that crap. Because opening, opening Cosmodrome is like a pain in the ass. There you go, ferry's open. Yeah, it's a pretty good trick. Uh, where is... Right there, okay. So I'm going to unpack this. And do I have the international out here? Yeah, I do. Okay, here, watch this. This is what I was gonna do this for.
<laughs> He's like, I'm going to get the 605R. I'm telling you, man, it, it, it's a game changer for that. Okay, uh, I need to go get service bear parts, which is across the ferry, which is why I needed the ferry. Uh, in fact, we can change this. Get this out of the way. He's got to remember to go get your uh, trucks from the other garage. Yeah, I'm at I'm at like 800 according to Steam, but that doesn't include all the PS4 time and PS5 time that I've played. So I have no idea how to count that. But I I just consider it 800 because right, it's like my main save is this one. Yeah, what was the one you said you used it for for consumables, JJ? Was it the Yukon or something? Or... One of them. That you, that you just like, because it doesn't have consumables in the beginning or something? Ontario, that's what it was. Seven slots of cargo to craft. Jeez. That's crazy. So yeah, I'll be doing that for Ontario. Well, I probably won't be because I'm going to be doing I'm probably going to be doing Ontario on my hard mode save. So I'll probably be doing that the hard way. Don't lose cargo. OK, I didn't lose it. All right, let's go unlock this uh, this little bridge right here. That way I'm like unlocked for all of the... I know, but it's hard mode though. I gotta transfer five vehicles to Michigan, six vehicles to Michigan. And I, I need to buy the twin steer back. I, I, I guess I could use the fem. I have the fem. Yeah, I sold my twin steer in the beginning of season 12 to like have money. I'm still sad about it. That's a cute overload. I do overloads. I just do ones that make sense. This truck is not very powerful. So therefore, it gets a it gets a little baby overload. I, mean, I could have just bought a trailer. But why? There you go. That's open. This is open. Um, nine metal beams. I think. I think I did a nine metal beam one once. And they were all sideways too. It was on a flatbed. It was. It was not on a trailer. It was. On, it was just on a three slot side bed. Uh, flatbed. I think it was the. Is it the fem? I think it might have been the fem. It was either the fem or the um, one that comes from here, Kenworth 963. Because it was a three slot flatbed with a crane. <laughs> JJ calls up gods in defiance with his overloads. True. Yeah, I do a lot. Of, I do a lot on bed. That's why I always use uh, flatbeds. 
Like, I know there's a lot of people that use sideboard beds just because they don't want stuff to fall out that's unpacked. Like, if it's going to fall out, I'd rather it fall out than me tip over. Like, I'll pick it back up off the ground. So, like, if I'm going to lean to the point of tipping over... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is true. Um, okay, so... I was just showing that for an example's sake. I don't really want to work on Ontario. I'm about to be working on Ontario on my hard mode save. But I could... I could... do that. I could bring two consumables. Is there consumables? I'd have to craft them. Shoot, shoot. I don't have a generator. I sold them all. I don't have a generator in Scandinavia. Damn it. Uh, I don't want to pay 14 grand for something I'm just going to throw away. I'll just deal with it. I'll just drive and get consumables. I was going to say at least to open the freaking um, ferry. Mind you, like, you don't even need to open the ferry. Like, if you go in British Columbia and you just drive through here, like, you know, let me use my... So, like, you just, instead of using the ferry, you just drive across. Like, you can get across right here. You just drive across. As long as you have, like, off-road tires, you just drive across. Yeah, no, I was thinking because I'm in season 11 right now and I, I literally just finished. So I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be opening up season 10. <clears throat> and I could just go and make, get consumables from season 11 before I transfer my trucks over. But I sold all of my, I destroyed all of my generators. Because <laughs> I don't like leaving trailers on maps. So yeah, I don't have a generator to create consumables in season 11 to bring them here because i would do it specifically just for the ferry but it, it's it just is like a minor inconvenience but i don't i mean i don't really want to i'm too cheap i don't want to spend 750 bucks on going across the ferry multiple times either i love you jenny okay <laughs> I think he was typing that to somebody else. Uh, let's see, what can I do? What can I work on? Oh, you know what I was working on, which I don't really want to continue working on, but... Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Generator. Got it. Oh, that was loud for no reason. Um, What do I have to do here yet? Get this stupid... Oh my god, I have so much to do. I think I have to do... I have to do all of these, don't I? To get the ring done. Qualification race, closing the loop. Qualification race is a race, but I have to do bad take first. It means I need to deliver like 87 vehicles. Yeah, what was that? I don't even know what that noise was. So the only reason I want to do this is I'll show you. Like I, I have everything unlocked. Except for this one, the sprinter. and the k7m so like i have to do farming or racing to unlock the last two trucks in the game <laughs> so i think i have everything else yeah these are just not available in this region so that those are that's it k7m and the sprinter are what I have left to get. I just got the Gore by Four today. So 
I like did part of the starting contracts and like I got a vehicle up. I think I filled up the generator at least. Ugh. I don't want to. I don't really want to do this. I don't really want to do this. It's so bad. <laughs> this zone is so bad. Uh. Game with the cistern, but the nearest trailer store is a map away. Yeah, that's like season 12 kind of problems. Oh, I even have a map. I even have a route to go up here. Because I was going to start working on it. Ugh, should I do it? This is... A, oh, that's right. I left a trailer up here. Um, uh... Could I do the cargo trick for any of this stuff? Hold. I don't know if I have medium planks anywhere. I don't have season 12 done on this. Where where has medium planks, JJ? I know where it has metal beams. Season six main. Okay, so main doesn't have it unlocked either because I didn't do main. Uh, this is season seven. Season eight is not done. I wonder if I have it. I could get medium planks in. I did go pretty far in Ontario. Get all the because you have to do, go pretty far to get all the trucks. Is there is there mediums here? Warehouse. Oh, it's limited. And more. Main has some at log stations. But are they limited? Is it gonna like screw me if I take them from main? <clears throat> That's what I'm worried about. Like this has got one medium plank, right? This has got one medium plank. Because you can craft more. Um... You gotta bring logs, it'd be more of a pain and not worth it, yeah. Because this other one, I just have to drive up there to where the generator is and get mediums. Like, fuel is up there. Um, yeah, this this is not a good zone for it. I mean, if I had, if I had done... Because in North Carolina, there's several. All right. All right, all right, all right. You got to bring fuel back up there, though. I, I like, recovered all my vehicles because I wasn't sure if I was coming back. What is that noise? Holy crap, I'm sorry. <laughs> this, this zone is just obnoxious in every single way. Um, Let's just use... They have a trailer store up there. Oh, yeah, they do, don't they? They do, don't they? They can buy a fuel trailer and refuel the generator. Okay, sweet. Police on a horseback in my hood. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, should we just, like, overpower this and just use the Azov? I feel like this this place is like super bumpy though. It's probably not a good as of seven place. I could use the Mac Defense. I did I did just get this thing. I guess I haven't really used this thing yet. Can this thing have duels? No, it cannot. That's interesting. Alright. JJ and and or anybody. 
what do you use on the on the B? Do you use you know MHS fours Jat tires or do you use the balloon tires? I never know what to pick. I feel like they're rated exactly the same, but like the balloon tires just look cool, so I always end up using the balloon tires. Oh, I have a high range gearbox in this thing. Tiger tires. I just use them because they look cool. Like I was using uh, the Jats on my Tiger on my hard mode save, and it's like, eh. Yeah, and like, seeing as this truck doesn't have doubles, right? Like, I've been using doubles on the Taiga now, and it is actually, like, really good. The OHD ones. Didn't know that Artem was taking up <laughs> arm wrestling. Okay. Um, so let's... What do we need to do? What do we need to do first? I think I was going to unlock this bridge. There's like a bridge in the middle here. And it required two medium planks. And I wanted to get it open because it's like a main pathway to get to everywhere. And then... That needs three medium planks. I don't even know where to get solar. Where the hell do you get solar panels? Oh, that's right. These solar panels are just on the ground. You gotta pick them up. I did look that up, and then it's race, race, and rescue like 17 vehicles. Like, like what the f? I did encounter this one, the boron that's over here. I was like, why is there a boron in the middle of the road? Yeah, I already brought the generator up there. It's up here. It's up here, and it's full. I gotta do all of this crap. This whole thing, I gotta do all of this. Fuel is... Where did I get fuel from? Right here. This is where I got fuel from. But I got fuel. I did that already. I did that step, which is why there's a path here. Or was it here? Yeah, that it was here where I got fuel. Sorry. Yeah, I went all the way around. I was like, man, this path sucks. So, I guess let's go get some medium planks. And then we got to go back and get some metal beams. And... Yep, I did the first step. I did the first step, and I when I was up there, I brought the core by four back. That's how I got the core by four. Yeah, I guess let's just let's just have at it. Only one way to do it, and that's just do it. Yeah, I was actually just using the Zix 612 for this because I just wanted to like get it done and not be here. But uh, I actually found out that the Zix is actually not a very good truck for this region, believe it or not. It's like too rigid. You need like something more flexible like this, which again is why I'm, I've been like just crying for more 6x6 vehicles because I feel like 6x6s are like the way to go, man. In most cases, 6x6s are just better. Okay, okay, trailer.
Yeah, just to, I'd much rather have a six by six that is flexible like this and just slap it in high, just cruise along. Pop a tire, maybe. Almost did. I think the Mac is still pretty good, even even with its current size of tires. The only thing I don't like about the Mac is it's like, I feel like it's kind of power struggles a little bit. I feel like it kind of struggles to like get up hills and stuff sometimes, which is kind of weird. And I guess it's an 8x8, eight eight, but it's like a weird, it's like a front steer only for 8x8, eight eight, not a four wheel steer 8x8. Eight eight. Way more agile than a lot of other things, but yeah, it's, it's also kind of tippy. I, I've, I found that the Mac is kind of tippy. It doesn't get the greatest mileage, but then again, neither does this. This Taiga is actually like not very good for fuel. Yep, big tires definitely uh, just drive over everything. Okay. Gonna run out of suspension by the time I get there. Yeah, this thing is going through this way better than the Zix was. I guess I could have just used the Taiga too. Um, yeah, I mean, I use, I do use a lot of long trailer like this. So, and that's how I use the Taiga is like, I just use the Taiga as a, as a five slot trailer vehicle. And then it doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, what are the stats on the Taiga tires? Hold on, let me find a look. Uh, not off road mud tires TMHS are 0 0.5 asphalt, 2 ground and rock, 2.4 mud and snow with 1.118. And they are either soft or average, depending on whether they're the AMHS or the TMHS. So they're good. They're they're super wide, and it's one point one one eight on the front as well, which is what makes them really good. Um, they are. What are the MS MHA fours? Gat fours are one point eight ground and rock and two point six mud and snow. So they're slightly better in one, slightly worse in the other. Yeah, the Tigers are the TM the Tigers are the TMHS, so they're they're rated as average, not soft. That's the only difference between the AMHS and the TMHS. I think. I think that's right. Am I saying that right? The AMHS are not the Tiger tires and the TMHS TMHS ones are. Well, of course I just sat in mud. Uh, here we go. Nope. The 
What did you do here? There we go. This is not the way to go, is it? Yep, I should have just committed to going straight. Yeah, I mean, they're not really, like, that good, but... The, uh... The Taiga tires are one of the few tires in the game that can just drive through super mud or super snow. Because of the way that they are wide, and they kind of float. They float on top of it. So Taiga tires are like unique in that respect that they're one of the few tires in the game that that can counter super conditions. But I mean, you, you just like drive around super conditions. You just don't go in it. That's the correct way to deal with super conditions is just not go in it. If you can, I had all avoid it. Just don't go in it. unpleasant let's go this way and that looks like I'm gonna pop a tire oh yep good thing I have a spare tire freaking nonsense I need to repair my suspension. I need to utilize this trailer store. <laughs> Is it because I'm here? Ah, uh, no. No, I've been popping lots of tires. Where is the trailer store? Is it behind? Oh yeah, I see it right there. Come on. blading the like button then okay that's fair it mouthed off i made a bad decision leaving that there let's not pop another tire See, if I just would have brought a fuel truck up here, I could just leave it connected to this thing so I didn't have to, like, do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just because so this is, like, the same reason why I, like, flip trans die. Because, like, I was rushing, right? I was just like, I don't want, I like, I, I'm like freaking out because I was getting low on fuel and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna run out of gas. Yeah. Do generators actually use fuel when you turn them on or no?
No, okay. So I don't have to like go back and turn them off. I always like would be nervous about that. Stop. Uh, not meta beams, medium planks. Craft, craft, craft. Okay. Uh, you know what? While this thing is on, what do we need for the other one? We need two metal beams. Craft, craft. And the rest of it is not from here because it was stuff you have to pick up the ground. Three in there, one, two, and we're gonna unpack. See if our use back. There we go. Whoop. platform but I need to back up a little bit why did okay did you see that did you see that they just pushed themselves back forward unpack it's supposed to be able to pack going backwards Get back here. Nope, it's like not packing in that rear position. Okay. How about like this? Okay. I've had, uh, I mean, obviously, I, I, being the Italian that I am, I've eaten many a fried calamari in my day. It's actually uh, quite tasty. That's basically just squid. Okay, will you pack where I want you to pack? Okay, yeah, perfect. It is, it is, uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to to, like, eat the tentacle parts. Yeah. My wife still doesn't like those. I'll eat them, though. I think they're yummy. Okay. Well, let's hope that stays on there. If it doesn't, uh, we'll pick it up off the ground. Uh, let's see, what's the best way out of here? Probably not that way. I guess this way kind of sucks, too. They both kind of suck. Whatever, we'll just go back this way. Try and not pop a tire. Ah, shit, we gotta go through this river. Uh... We gotta go through that river if we go that way. And it's like a big hill. I don't know. We just gotta suck it up and go one way or the other. I just hope I don't drop that thing in the river. Like, that's gonna be the hardest part is getting across that river. Everything else is fine. I already cleared this bridge or this this roadblock, so and it's night.
How many times am I going to pick this off the ground? That's the question. Uh, I need to go back. Like, I don't even need, I don't even need this truck, but I just, I want it because I don't have it. You know what I mean? Like, it was the same reason for getting this truck. I didn't need this truck either, but I, I just wanted it. Uh, yes, I, I am... Of Italian heritage, I am definitely an American, though. I am, I am mutt. I am much of other things as well, but... Uh, left looks like I'm going to rub rocks, but I think we'll just go left. Or right, I mean. No, no, I, I don't know how to speak Italian. I'm not from Italy. I did not grow up in Italy. Two generations above me did. They came, came fresh off the boat. My great-grandfather and great-grandmother were... I, I know nothing. Ooh, that's pushing me. Definitely pushing me. I mean, mind you, Spanish is kind of like uh, Italian in a way. Like, there's a lot of words that are like C, you know, is, is saying, you know, yes in both Spanish and Italian, but yeah, I, I, do, I don't know. Tell you what, though, I can talk with my hands. I'm good with that. It's like an Italian joke thing. You get really mad, you start waving your hands around. That's uh, definitely, I have that. <laughs> yeah, beep beep bobby boop. Yeah, mm hmm. <laughs> I knew, I knew exactly what you were talking about too. The, the Family Guy episode where he was he was arguing with the guy when they when they both had mustaches. Que coisa! Bieber Bob. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here it goes. Not quite yet. Okay, I, I need to fix it. It's 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 gonna fall. Yeah, yeah. When he's just like arguing in the deli, just for no reason. And they're both just like waving their hands. It's it's a thing. It's not fake. My grandpa did it, my great grandpa did it, my 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 grandma who was the hundred percent Italian. Also, she she would oh crap! I just unpacked that like an idiot. 
Why did I do that? Well, I guess we're driving this unpacked. Otherwise, I gotta pick it up. I guess it'll be lighter this way. Yeah, my grandma used to throw shoes at us when we were, when we were being naughty, when we were being punk little kids. She would take her slipper off, and man, was she she was like lightning accurate with that thing. She would either hit us with her shoe, or she had like a whole freaking drawer of wooden spoons. But she did make the most bomb spaghetti sauce. That was like the kind that she like if you touched it, she would like smack you to the point of bleeding with a with a wooden spoon. That was like in melting hot spaghetti sauce. So like it would not only would it burn you, but it would like bust your knuckle open. But yeah, she was she was like the master of all day spaghetti sauce. It was so good. Yeah, and then she, and then, but yeah, she would she'd like she'd like whip a slipper across the room at us when we were mousing off. Or or the other thing she would do is she would come up to us and like pinch you at the top of your ear, like not the bottom, not the like the the flappy part of your ear, like the part that's like kind of hard, you know, up at the top and she would pinch it and it would hurt so freaking bad because she always had nails right like she had like she always had her nails like very nice you know and yeah she would she would just like pinch the crap out of the top of my ear man oh my god it hurt so bad and we would stop what we were doing it worked i tell you what when we were doing naughty stuff or just roughhousing or doing something that she didn't like, she would come over and whack us with a spoon or throw a slipper at us or pinch us on the top of the ear. Man, did we stop what we were doing? And she was like four foot eight too. She was like the typical really short Italian grandmother as well. But yeah, she, she had like lightning accuracy with the damn slippers, man. A couple of times I got the spoon. The spoon would hurt really bad too, because she would like whip it across the room. And they were all like these really old, like solid wooden spoons that just like didn't break. Yeah. Nope, are we gonna lose it again? Nope. Not yet. We still have the other one in back, right? Yeah, okay. Uh where am I going, by the way? I'm just down. Down past where my marker is. Yeah. Grandma made some of the best freaking food I've ever eaten. And she would always, she would always, like, be mad that we didn't eat enough. Like, even though we'd be, like, on the verge of throwing up because we ate so much food, she'd be like, eat some more food. You're too skinny. Eat some food. It was great, man. Those were the days. <laughs> Adamantium wooden spoons, man. I'm telling you, dude. They were invincible. She, no matter how many times she threw those things, None of them fucking broke. I never saw one of them broken. Ever. Did I get to from the top here? Looks like it. I guess we'll figure it out when we get there. Yep, and then my other side is Polish, so my uh, my mom's side is a hundred percent Polish, like all the way, like full all the way through both. Both grandma and grandpa were a hundred percent Polish, and then their parents as well were also off the boat. Um, so again, I don't know a word of Polish either, but they were like also they were like. 20s post World War II 
like whatever i think my grandma's like my grandma's still alive actually she's the only one that's still alive she's like 94 or something 95 i've had i have had tripe and it's good i do like it um but yeah she she would make some like super good food but it was always like uh, we would always like joke that it was like depression modified because she would always like make it cheap like she would like make her lasagna that my mom inherited as well is like the best freaking lasagna ever even though like i have an italian grandmother i i still like my polish grandmother's uh lasagna better because it's like super budget and like she used cottage cheese instead of like ricotta cheese and and he was so good like i don't understand what made it so good but like i just i don't like regular lasagna it's like grandma's lasagna was the best that's got to be one of the vehicles that i need to rescue for this thing okay yep oh yeah she was she was like straight up depression food it was great but it was always like super good she also made the best freaking apple pie man she always made this apple pie it was so so fucking good like man pack cargo oops why am i being dumb here Pressing wrong buttons. <laughs> Door dash some fazolis. <laughs> I don't care. It's fine. I've eaten some fazolis. I'm not ashamed. Okay, so that one's done. Now we need to do this one. Which means we need to go all the way back there and get two metal beams. I'm going to pit stop in the garage so I can repair whatever is left of my tires. <laughs> uh, in the last stream earlier, my truck with five times in a matter of seconds. I had to watch it slow motion to count it. <laughs> Jeez, man. That's a uh, couple. Oh, these things move. Okay. I wasn't sure I could drive over these things. This thing's got an amazing horn. I guess I've, I haven't honked the horn on this thing yet. So did you watch my short, JJ? I need to know. I need to know if you think there's turtles. Like, I didn't even notice the first section where there was, like, five of them. That is the exit to the garage. It looks like fish. Yeah, I was I was thinking it was either fish or but like it that one in the end looked like it like came out of the water. And I was like it looks like a turtle. Like it's big. You know what? Try a different vehicle. Let's see what else we can use. Nope, none of those. Mm. Yeah. Nope, not that one. That wasn't the one I was going for. Or was it? Oh, I passed it. 
back defense. Customize. I think these tires are better than anything else, are they? Well, I happen to have the sheet up still. Uh, let's see. Back defense are 1.2, 2.8, and 1.8. That's huge. It's actually really good. I mean, obviously there's like better mud tires but i don't know there isn't like there is mud here but there's not enough to justify it uh so my monitor is a aoc i don't even know if they make it anymore but it's an aoc 34 inch ultra wide 144 hertz um hold on Yeah, doesn't it look like something, though? I was like, man, that is not just, like, waves. That's, like, something in the water. Um, but, yeah, it's, like, an a I know the brand is AOC, and it's a 144 hertz, 3440 by 1440, 34-inch ultra-wide. That's curved. And it's fantastic. I'll never, I'll never not play video games on an ultra-wide ever again. I guess that's not true because I play PlayStation 5 on a TV, but. Um, all right. Fuel miser or not fuel miser? Is there really that much of a fuel difference between the one versus the I don't feel like there is. And there really isn't like a power difference either, is there? Top engine and torque is the middle one. All right, we'll just use this one. Uh, holy crap, that thing's worth 24 grand. Yeah. I've been, I always use the multi-purpose in this thing because it doesn't have an all-wheel drive penalty. And it, you only lose low plus. That's the only thing you lose. Okay, so we need... This is just two metal beams, right? Yeah, I can I can just run it like this. We'll just overload. Oh, what is that? Is there a laser light show at this at this racetrack? <laughs> this is so Tennessee right here. Let's, uh, let's go get our two metal beams. Yeah, this thing is thirsty, though. Like, even in high, this thing is, like, super thirsty, which is kind of annoying, but... Look at that fuel consumption in high. 4.6. It's just thirsty. Yeah, it's a, it's a the Mac defense is a, is a beefy. You know what the coolest thing about this truck actually? Have you ever looked at the inside of this thing? Look how good the interior looks on this thing. It's got like a LCD touch panel looking thing, and there's like eight million buttons over here. Got like a little LCD screen in the center of the dash. 
I like just happened to be in there and I was like, man, the inside of this truck is actually like really nice. Oh, don't pop my tire. I like skate right across this little mound right here. Uh, it's a season 10 truck, so it's like pretty new. It was the, it's the one you get in the second region of season 10, whatever that one's called. Not Duncan Bay. Something nature, something, something nature reserve or something. Oh, yeah, I would say it's between this and the the wolf pack trucks. North Peak National Park, that's what it is. Thank you. I was close. It was a good guess. Yeah, I don't know like what year this is based on. It's obviously newer Mac design, but like, I feel like the, the Western Star trucks are probably like equally new. Like the NX whatever, 47X, 1420 and 1430, whatever those ones are. Uh, let's see. Can we go through here without popping a tire this time? That would be great. I don't think this thing has a spare tire. might be a bad idea taking an overloaded metal beam back but it is what it is i could always just buy a trailer i guess I could just grab a two slot I could just do that uh where does this thing have to go by the way Should probably turn this on yeah it goes right next to where this trailer store is we'll just buy a trailer play it safe I don't really want to, like, the main part I don't want to overload is in this river. River's kind of gnarly. Hello, mister. What are you doing? What are you doing? You gonna go potty or something? You gonna go outside? Okay. Alright, we'll take you outside. Let me get across the river. Then we'll go outside. <laughs> Was that the 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 one where you like hit something and it like turbo destroyed your scout truck? That one? The flipping one. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> or I was thinking like, when when that signpost hits just right, that would be that'd be pretty good.
Because you know that's what it was. It was like a it was like a piece of a fence or something that that stuck in your grill, and then it just it just like poked in the rest of the way, and it was just like you. I'm out. <laughs> Oh yeah, you gotta go potty. All right, I'll be back in a second. I have fancy beer at back screens. Okay. I are back. I'm 
breaking into the house was like opening the box and Hellraiser. It's great. Okay. You sure it is up? Okay. I'll have to go look at it. I mean, I saw it live. It was pretty spectacular, but... I had that happen... Yesterday? I was just, like, doing random stuff, like getting vehicles and stuff on this save. And, like, I don't remember what I was... I think it was the Zix or something and it just like caught a sign or something and it just like completely destroyed the truck. Come on. It's straight, not really. form flips. I have a feeling players are going to tumble. <laughs> you think they should add Peterbilt's game? I think that'd be a cool addition. I mean, mind you, they'd have to get licensing for it. Like, I understand coding-wise, like, you can't just do it just because you want it. You need to, like, have licensing. Okay, let's not pop a tire. Sneak in by this trailer. Snag a little bit of fuel. Even though I probably would be okay. Oh, miles on that. Okay, I was like, that is sort of like an incomplete sentence, isn't it? Damn sausage fingers, bro. Tell me about it. <clears throat> That's also an Italian thing, I think. If you're like at all chubby, you just immediately get sausage fingers. The real question is, is this going to flip me? Make it look a little bit different with new names and such, so... <laughs> with boards in Ukraine, okay, yeah. Yeah, just like make it slightly different, yeah. And that's kind of what they did, yeah, with, uh... Pita, Pita built. <laughs> Good. All right, I don't like this. This is uh, not giving me the comfy feeling. Mom wanted me to be a proctologist, but I spared my fellow man. 
Wah, wah. Good. Good one. This river is going to be extra sketchy. Once I'm past it, though, then it's like pretty, pretty okay. I don't know. Nothing's really like a pleasant road here. But being a place that you're supposed to race on, it's uh, none of the roads are actually really that good. That's the trailer. <laughs> I'm like, what am I attached to over there? Come on. I guess that works. Thank you, trailer. Oh, no. Yikers. That was too close. I should have just bought a trailer instead of being stubborn. It was going too. It, you know it was definitely going to go. <laughs> done a contest i mean if you're not after a hundred percent i probably wouldn't do the contest either in all honesty just because they all kind of suck there's like a handful of them that are like reasonable to do or like on the way to do something well oh, it's time to time to make a bed now he went outside did his business and now he's doing like 87 circles ruffling up his bed Time to go to sleep, apparently. Even though he was just... God dang it. Yeah, this is... This is, uh, quite tippy. With, uh, with this. A little, a little wobbly. Feels a little bit like driving a fleet star right now. Ooh, dear. I have, like, nothing to whinge to if this, like... Yeah, if I wasn't after 100%, I probably would just skip contests. I'd just be like, yep, I'm not doing that. Probably not going to do logging. <laughs> like... Unless you need it for something, right? Like, there's a lot of things that, like, unlock with logging, but...
Ooh, there. Stalled out. Actually had wheel lock up on this thing with these tires. Uh, am I going the right way still? Yeah. I just need to go a slightly different path when I get down this way. To, like, there. I actually don't mind logging as much as I used to, but I think it's... I've, I've talked about this in some videos in the past. How Michigan really, like really brutalizes you to logging like you start in michigan you don't really have that strong of trucks you have a p16 which is like it's a good logging truck but it's not that good and it like has power issues and it doesn't have its top motor yet you don't have the advanced special gearbox yet and like that's what you use for long logs and it's it's freaking awful because it makes you drive across like two maps to do freaking logging and it's just like really long trips and you gotta run back and forth and you gotta go with the P16 and it's just slow and it's wheel lock up all the time going on. I mean, the tires are amazing, but like the truck itself just kind of struggles in Michigan. Especially for that one you gotta deliver to Norton's house, that one set of long logs that's like way the hell off on the west side of Smithfield Dam. And it's like you're just driving through mud and shitty trails and and it's like across two maps because the only place you can get long logs is in Black River. So you gotta like go all the way through Black River, go to Smithville Dam, go all the way through past the farm, all the way past everything, and then go all the way to the western side and either go through the mud pit up there or around the back way, which is like treacherous. And it's just awful. It like gives you such a sour taste for logging. And then if you do logging in Alaska, you're like, oh, that's what logging is? And it was like super easy to do logging in Alaska because you're like, oh man, this is great. And then you get to Tamir and they're like, ha, fooled you. And Tamir logging is also freaking awful. So right, like, like it just, it like alternates back and forth. Yeah, but even Drummond Island was like super far away. And you had to either go all the way down the zigzag hill or like come all the way through Island Lake and then through the swamp. Like, I don't know which way would be worse. Because it was, it was on the bottom side, I think, of Drummond Island. So you either had to go all the way through Drummond Island and then all the way down the windy path. So, I mean, it literally was like going across two maps for that one. No matter which way you took it. Yes. Yeah, it's it's like terrible, but I I did it one time and it was super sketchy. Like where you go across the the river there in the uh, over the rocks. Yeah, it's 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 super sketchy. Like you can do it, but it's just questionable. The four solar panels down that path, huh? I think we're going to Oh, crap. And there's one way over here. Can I, like, cut through here? Almost looks like you can get through here somewhere. Can I get through here with a long trailer, though, is the question. You probably, like, get up right here, hey? My question is, is how mushy is this beach? Yeah, because all three of them are in this river. In this part of the river where it's awful. Oh, I guess there's a trailer right here, too. We could just use that trailer, but it's one of those Bigum trailers. All right, let's, uh, let's get something else. Let's do some shopping for trucks. We need a crane. We need four slots. Um, I don't really want to yank a trailer, like a trailer trailer. It needs to be a five slaughter. Did I sell that five slot? Yeah, I did. Uh, 
Boy, that's a really solid choice, but I feel like I'm going to get nose hung everywhere, even with the active suspension. Uh, ooh. Problem is this, you have to take, I need a snorkel. You have to take the snorkel off to put a crane on. Okay, not this one. I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to take this guy. That's tempting. Um, hmm. I'll take the CT681. CT681 will probably pop a tire, but it can drive perfectly fine. If I've proven anything with Season 12 in my playthrough, that you can just drive anywhere with CT681 with a flat tire and it doesn't care. Because I drove lots of. Ooh, you take that. I think turns are just crappy though. And that thing doesn't have a crane yet. That thing is just tippy as all hell. I could take this with the all-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, flat tire don't care. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got it. We got it. We got our we got our candidate. <laughs> the old trusty. I go. And I think we're going to go for that far one first. Just because. I feel like if we go there, get that one, and then work our way back, it'll be easier. There is a little fuel trailer right there, too. I found when I was going through here. Okay, look at that one first. I see why people hated this zone because it is just like unnecessarily hard for what it is like the terrain is just annoying to traverse and like if all the cargo comes from up there like and you just have to keep going i mean it's only like 30 something pieces of cargo i can look at my spreadsheet i just don't have it open but yeah it's like 30 something it's like 36 or 38 pieces of cargo or something like that so it's like definitely the lowest amount of cargo, but it's like all these races and crap that you have to do. Yeah, all the cargo comes from that one spot. Yeah, that's that's terrible. And like there's no good path up there. Yeah, I guess the fuel is that one thing. Yeah, that's true. And the solar panels that you pick up off the ground, I guess, which is it's it's all up here anyhow, so. I could have went, this one I could have went and got four solar panels from uh, season 12. I could have just taken the path along the river, along the beach, to the port, grabbed four solar panels and came back. It doesn't matter what solar panels it is. Too late, I'm already on my way. Yeah, I can I can zip down that path, that beach path. That's like whatever, the one that you showed, I think, JJ. That uh, like right towards the end of your season that you found, and like I I used it for a while. I was like, man, this path is great. Go down the beach. Deep dish pizza, 
pepperoni, sausage, and jalapenos. You can skip the jalapenos, but uh, if you if you add black olives and mushrooms to it, I'm up down. Let's go. Stay in high. If we can see if we can go up this hill in high. Oof. I'm about to get a notification on my phone. I'll tell you that. I can smell it. Name dropping all the Midwesterners in here, yeah. Thing that's not a crumbly rock, huh? Sure looks like it could be from the new season. That one little rock on the edge looks like if it would have if that would have cracked off, I would have been screwed. That's what they need to make. That like they those those ones that they have, there's not really any that are like gotchas, right? There's like two, maybe two that are like gotchas. But like if they had it right at the edge of a turn, like a sharp turn like that, where you take the turn a little too wide and then your tire just like goes bloop and pops right off. Yeah, those, I mean, the crumbling rocks are cool as hell, but like, yeah, I like, I think they're super cool, but like, I think they could have like been more gotcha with it, you know? They could have even been like more nasty with it. Apparently, Naked Dave, like, made a whole map of them. There's, like, a whole bunch, apparently. I seen him, I seen him send it to when I was watching uh, Nathan Province's stream. I, I didn't, he didn't, like, go looking for him, but. Apparently, there's a bunch. So, can I get up this way? It looks like I can get up this way. I guess we're going to find out. Now nah, we might have to backtrack. Oh. Log. Not really a path, but I guess we can probably squeeze up there. It sort of is. Bit of a crooked path. And don't really want to go in this water, but that looks like the way through. It looks like the way through. How about we sneak in here? Like this. Like so. It's a little, little bit of sneaking between these trees. And it's becoming night again. Come on, tiger lock. Even with the top motor, the Taiga... I feel like the Taiga never did that, too. Like, did they, at some point in time, like, stealth nerf the Taiga? And I guess, like, my OG experience with the Taiga was using it in 
vanilla maps. And it just didn't ever do stuff like that. All right, can we be like stealthy about this and get these from far away? That's what I'm gonna try and do. Like just crane them from really far. Like try and get this far one first. Nope, please. Nope, stop it. Can I reach that from here? Oh, I don't think so. Nope, that is way too far away. Okay, well. Going slow towards the middle island. Let's see if I can reach it now. Oh, I bet you I can just barely reach it if I... Oh, no. Damn it. Uh... Okay, I don't like this crane being out. Oh, not that. I feel like the Taiga was just like super strong when back when it was the king, you know, like before season, before Amir even came out. Can I reach now? Just barely. I'm gonna have to back this trailer back out of here. That's gonna suck. Let's uh, try and get this thing out of here. Oh man, I'm not even moving. There, there's a winch point right there. Nice. Come on, turn. No, nope, you're not turning. Okay, right, let's try and get this this way. We don't have to turn to straighten this out this way. Kind of what I wanted. Kind of, sort of. I can get this trailer poked up onto that bank. Oh, now what do I have? Another one? Not really. Come on. Come on, get out of there. Might have to disconnect this trailer and... Um, do I have anything? Uh oh. I see what you're doing, current. I don't like it. Okay, okay, okay. Stop it. Come on, get up there. Go, 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 go. I busted that one tree. Come on. Oh, we got something. We got something. Pull me up the rest of the way. Okay, good enough.
Okay, that's good. Uh, except I need to not be in reverse gear. There we go. Uh, stop it. Gonna head out and work on some videos? Awesome. Thank you for hanging out. Okay. Now we're kind of in a decent spot. Uh, the question is, do I go for this other one and then turn and come back? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and get this one first. Then we'll turn around down there and come back and get this one. That way I can head back up the hill. Yep. That's the way we need to go. Man. Whew. Cat. Holy cow. Fancy litter box doesn't prevent it from stanking up like cat shit. Holy crap. Okay. Yep, yeah, we can definitely reach both of these. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. Oops. I didn't hit restore crane. Yeah, this is like one that just it just spawns the cargo for you and it's just in the river and they just say go pick it up because there isn't actually solar panels on this map this is like just where you get them they're in the river my favorite kind pick shit out of the river quest i fall off of this without taking too much damage probably and not getting hung up yeah i think we'll be okay we got a tree over there. Come on, let me reach. Yes. Go way down so it doesn't yank me into the water. Is all four. Okay, so let's. I'm just gonna try and pre winch. Oops, don't have a pre winch. Alright. Nope, not there. Nope, not there. Nope, not there. Stop it. <laughs> Good breaks. Okay, now I need to check myself. Maybe that smell came from me, not from the cat. Okay, Taiga. Lock up King. Come on. Can't tell me that four solar panels weigh anything. Uh, yeah. 
Please don't pop my tire. Please don't pop my tire. Okay. Good. Also, don't pop my tire. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was close to like a jackknife flip where it was just gonna like tip all the cargo back into the water, and then I probably would have been stuck there, which would have been fantastic. I would have been extremely pleased if that would have happened. With sarcasm. Alright, where do we gotta go with these? Need to go there. 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 And then down here. Okay. Man. This thing is struggling. The bee definitely did better. I just was going too fast because the bee didn't seem to struggle at all. And it kept... I wonder if I actually put the best motor in this thing. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably check that when we get back to the garage. Maybe this thing doesn't have the top motor. I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's got the top motor. Come on. Right out loud. Stuck on a rock. Okay. If I can kick it out. Holy crap. Ooh, there. Whoa, 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 bouncy boy. No, no, nope, nope, no. Holy invincible twig. Holy invincible twig. I have no idea how that thing's holding. Um, okay, so first thing. Crane, since it's gonna go that way. I'm gonna use the crane to give us some weight this way. <laughs> that twig is is holding on, man. That twig is just like, I got you, bro. <laughs> Alright, let's let go of the super twig. See if we have a, a more solid tree. Yes, we do. Okay, we're good. We're safe. think that's a nope that's not a solid tree uh that's not good i should i should just attach to the twig again i'm just gonna use the crane don't flip please there we go we got it we're safe <laughs> we're safe <laughs> <laughs> uh, night again. I just was like meandering too far off the path and high. Like it all happened because I just was not driving attentively. Like I could have just driven more safely and I would have been on the right side of that path instead of the left. Okay, what is going on here Bro. what are you stuck on there are like roots here 
the freaking roots here. Yeah, whatever. Go back this way. Holy crap. I, I might have to find that and clip that. Freaking name it the super twig. Freaking turbo twig, dude. That thing is... That thing saved my life. <laughs> yeah. Spirit of Groot. What's up, Petra? What's going on, buddy? I don't know if you came in for uh for that for that epic save by the twig of the, the strongest twig ever, but that was uh that was freaking close. That was extra close. Uh not right now. I'm I'm just like kind of doing crap that I don't want to do. This is this is Tennessee. Nobody actually wants to help with this. Let's be honest. I'm doing Tennessee because you just finished playing some Stardew Valley. You know, I should really play that game. Like I I have always like seen that game in my feed and I just never do cuz like it's isn't Stardew Valley like kind of like a 2d farm game but then there's also like enemies that attack you and that's why i don't like it because there's enemies that attack you it's like i don't really want to deal with like defending i have like a pretty large steam library and i have a lot of weird games but that is unfortunately not one of them all right I'm almost done. Okay, so we got that done. Let's now... Oh, now we need to... Oh. We gotta do this. Where is that truck anyhow? There's one of them. Alright, I gotta... I have to consult Snow Render. Bad take. He is... Nope, that's not the right thing. That is not the right thing. As long as you get into the mines to get metal. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I remember Stardew Valley being kind of like a... Things can attack you. Uh, Tennessee, Burning Mill. Page one. Bad take. Where is that? Holy crap, that tiger's way the hell up here. The taiga's way up here. Oh, there it is. It just didn't wasn't showing up. Uh, activate. I need to grab a taiga. That Voron that's on its side that was like in my way. Not super far away. The problem is, is this bridge is out. I haven't fixed this bridge yet. Probably should do that. Where do they have to go? I have to go all the way up there. Um, let's see. So I could just not do that one. Oh no, I need to do that one. Ugh, that's terrible. You need to do both of these. Oh, I need to do this. So that is first. <clears throat> and then the Chevy Scout is like right on the ring down here. Um, why don't we? Why don't we? Where was that Chevy? Right here. I bet you it's this guy right here. It just moved to that. Yep, that is it. Um, okay. Idea. Idea. We're gonna sell this trailer. We're not gonna use the Taiga. Division 2, Dying Light 2, no COD because I respect myself <laughs> and Star Wars Survivor. I've heard that pretty good too. Basically Star Wars Battlefront, but newer, right? Is basically what Star Wars Survivor, or no wait, Star Wars Survivor, I have that game. That's the one that's like the, 
What is the name of that game? Is that the one that they recently did that's like a kind of like an action game? More than like Battlefront, for example. I bought a Star Wars game somewhat recently and I just like got into other things and then I just set it aside kind of disappointingly. Okay, let's get rid of you. Uh, what do I want to use for this? I want to use something that doesn't suck so much. really tempted to use that guy i keep saying i want to use that guy you know what let's just uh let's go with the old trusty where is he mirror ct681 there you are that'll no not that a low want a loading crane and actually do a sideboard for once Solo Calcestis. I do not use mods, no. Um, I prefer... I did for a little while, and, like, I, I went a little too far, and it just, like, became boring. And now I'm, like, using kind of crusty trucks to, like... I, it just feels better to use trucks that aren't super overpowered. Um, what was I going to look for? Oh, yeah, I was going to look at my Steam library. I'm pretty sure it was a Steam game. Steam, 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 Steam. What is that name? What is the name of that game called? Or was it under Epic Store? Where? Did... What was that game? Oh, was it on? It was on PS5. I think it was on PS5. What is the name of that game that came out? It's like a action game for Star Wars, not necessarily. Something else. Okay. So here's the plan. We're gonna go this way. Get this truck and just throw it in the bed. Oh, I left another trailer over here. And now it's in the way. Can I push this without, like, destroying my truck? Yes, I can. Sweet. It should work better than I expected. Oh, now it's going to be in the way again. Eh, good enough. Like this thing is like super fuel efficient. The only the only downside to this thing is it doesn't carry any repair or sp in particularly spare tires, and it is it is a tire popping magnet. This thing will just pop tires just because it is in the mood. If you haven't used this CT six eighty one ever, I would highly suggest you try it. It's like super super good for everything too. Okay, you go in there, you get packed, throw the crane, and let's go back around. Yep, and I'll just take this guy with me. We'll just drop him off up there, because this is the third step, is, is take this guy up there, so I make two trips when I can throw this in a bed. I like how it's got the... Uh, It's woke, I don't touch. I'm confused as what a woke truck is as well. 
to call you racist or something? <laughs> does, it, does it throw terms at you like you're misogynist? Uh, CT 681 it's the caterpillar so there's a CT 680 like Charlie Tom 680 and then there's a 681 and so the 681 is there is no upgrade requirements it's just level locked and it's a DLC I believe um, I don't know if it was a free DLC maybe it was a free DLC I don't remember but uh It was one of those trucks that like just performed really well and like it kind of slipped under the radar. And like the CT680 is is also very good, but if you don't have the I think it's all wheel drive upgrade or lift upgrade because there is an upgrade for it out on the map somewhere. Like you're, you're locked behind it being a terrible truck. Is the radio talking to me? I don't know. But yeah, like this is two wheel drive. I haven't even flipped on all wheel drive yet. Like it's just, it's super stable and like. Has very good. I mean, these are just uh, UOD twos like. That you can't this is the best tire you can put on it. You don't get mud tires for it. And it's selectable all wheel drive diff lock, which I like. I prefer trucks that allow me to pick. Is it a free DLC? Okay. And it, yeah, it's like it's very strong. Like very strong. You just have to like drive it right, right? Like just like anything, right? But nice and speedy. It gets like super. It's super low fuel economy. So like the fuel fuel economy is like really good. Yeah, I mean I don't really forty seven inch tires doesn't really bother me unless you hit like rocks. Then you, then you can pop tires, which is sort of what I what I mean by popping tires. But it does have a dummy axle, which is annoying. Like it's just it just gets hung up. I never I literally never do this this dead axle. So it's just an extra thing to get hung up on in the middle of the truck, but it doesn't really like impede like some of the other trucks that like the the Wolfpack one that has two of them. That thing gets hung up on stuff. And like the W990 even sometimes gets hung up on stuff. Uh, yeah, I've spent some time. I mean, this is not an Amir. I mean, I guess I actually probably would use this in Amir for certain things. Um, but yeah, this thing would probably struggle a little bit in Amir. <laughs> you do, you want bigger tires for Amir just because of the snow, the deep snow. But this the, these tires would actually like cut through the snow and get down to it if it's solid underneath. But there's a lot of not solid underneath in Amir. Yeah, I mean, that's you kind of bring whatever you got. That's the strongest to go to a mirror. You don't know. Really, you generally don't want to use like, you know, your scout 800 or, you know, your fleet star. It's just not a good choice.
okay i i use this is like my primary truck for season 12 and it like did fantastic for all of it all right i gotta flip like all of these things the hell everything is just on its side Yeah, it's kind of disappointing in a way that, like, they haven't come out with anything as hard, but honestly, I don't think they'd have as many players still if they continued to make things as hard as Izmir. I got the right wind point for that. I was hoping I would just, like, get lucky and hit that right wind spot, but it, did, it happened. Okay, so let's go... This way, I don't necessarily want to cut around that because it looks like I'll probably fall. Get some fuel. Turn this in. Go get the boron. Thing have fuel in it. Yep, it does. It drives. It just flipped over on its side. Yeah, I mean that's what I, that's what I mean. Like, like if they continued the trend of making maps harder, right? From season four, and think to think about the fact that we're on season twelve, coming up on season thirteen now. If they would have made it more and more difficult from season four onward, would there be as many people still playing the game? I don't think so. I think it would be probably half or less of the player base. Like people, people legitimately needed a break from the mirror. Eh, hard mode isn't really hard. That's the worst part about it. Like hard mode is only hard until you run out, until you for the first map, right? For Michigan, it's hard because you don't have like originally you didn't have anything for tires. You didn't have any DLC trucks because you don't get your DLC truck for free in hard mode. And you had no tires, so you had to run highways and you had no money, right? So you didn't like have a truck you could immediately sell and get money and you're just you just got to the point where like as soon as you get a couple hundred thousand you just hard mode is not a thing anymore like i recover trucks in my hard mode i'm just like i don't feel like going to get it i'll just recover it because i have the money for it And like it becomes it becomes the same with fuel management really is the biggest thing and like not being able to swap from map to map like you really want to finish your map before you go to the next map because if you swap around vehicles and stuff then you're paying to transfer back and forth But like hard mode is just, it just becomes not hard because I mean the game it's not oh, 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 oh. Okay, stop backwards no no stop pushing me off the cliff well and that that's exactly it like they always call this game the whatever dark souls of okay you need to you need to stop get off my ass dude you're gonna push me over yeah it's like the dark souls of driving games right like where but like again it's the same thing as dark souls though like once you know what to do and you know where to go and that kind of thing like right like it it becomes much less difficult to play dark souls once you know everything right 
And like, there's a lot of people that are like that, that just know what to do and where to do it. And... They don't need that assistance, you know? All right, let's... Refuel. This is probably a really bad idea. Have this thing where it is. I need to straighten it out so it doesn't fall off the bridge. If it falls off the bridge, I'm not getting that thing out of here without a crane. Like a big crane truck. So we're going to go really slow. And we're just going to pull it. How are you still rolling forward? It's flat. But yeah, the, the challenge in this game comes from the terrain and knowing shortcuts and that kind of like, like hard mode doesn't really add difficulty, right? Like, and it shouldn't really. And that would be weird. They like made mud more muddy. It would just be bad, but like it's all it is is a monetary thing. It's fuel and money. And like once you have money, fuel also becomes not an issue because you just buy fuel. You're just like, eh, hey, whatever. Like the only limitation is, is you can't like buy all of the vehicles you want because normal just hands you money. Whereas, and you can sell trucks and buy them back for the same price and. So yeah, I don't, I don't really see, and I'm playing my hard mode save still, but like, it's not hard anymore because I'm essentially three complete maps in, into that save, and like, I don't have a problem with money anymore. Like, I, I did season 12, season 12 made almost a million, and I spent like half of it on trucks, because I needed them. And now it's like I have a great fleet. I'm going to season 10. So I'll be getting an even better fleet. And I don't need to buy any more vehicles. So all of season 10 will just be profit. And I have like 300k. Can I tell you a joke? Yes. What do you call it? <laughs> Let's be careful because it is the internet. But yes, continue. <laughs> I I won't get offended, but I never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, accurate. Uh, <laughs> accurate. I'm not going to repeat that just because I don't know. I don't know what YouTube. I I'm, I don't. I'm not like monetized or anything on YouTube, so I don't really care if I get banned. But um, got banned from five streams for telling that bad boy. I believe it. I believe it. You can't. You can't even tell a joke anymore. You know the best part too is like. I, I also have some some very gay friends and they tell the best gay jokes they have the they have the best jokes and they're really bad like you think that that's not bad like gay dudes have some really bad jokes You're gonna really make me drive this thing in here and like smash my truck up, aren't you? I grew up in the streets. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
apparently it's just there it, it counted <laughs> you were homeless <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna... Oh, I need to unpack this first. Unpack. Yeah, set this guy down. Preferably in this little thing. Nope, not in my bed. Nope, not in my bed. Over here. Come on. Wiggle out of here. I gotta get this thing out of the way. Go this way. Go over here. Get out of the way. Thank you. Okay, now we gotta find that moron and drag it all the way the hell over here. Refuel. is this way oh my god it's so far away so far away laters taters nice take it easy bud thanks for stopping in I guess I'll have to see what it looks like going through there. Nice. Right there. And it's like on a hill. I'm gonna have to probably like wiggle all over the place to try and get that thing out of there, but. And we gotta drag it all the way back up here. Do that thing path. Um okay. Woo. 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 Easy. And I ran, I ran so far away. Classic. Sure, you can sneak through there. Almost pop a tire, almost. Okay, am I like hung up on this? No. Driving my dodgy Don 71. Yeah, that's a good way to describe the Don. <laughs> dodgy is the correct term for that thing I've only used that thing like twice and one of them was actually today 
when I was doing my achievements because I needed to drown something and I was like, ah, oh, this thing doesn't have snorkel on it. Perfect. Okay. Come on. Get up over there, rock. Wiggle. Wiggle. Go. Come on. Have you ever used the Tuz 166? I'm going to get stuck on this thing. Yeah. See if I can get around this way. That was a, a bit of a mud pit that I probably should have tried to go around. Yeah, the Tuz 166 has a very unique gearbox called the archaic gearbox that it comes with and it is a three speed so it has um i don't even know if, i don't think it has a high gear i think it's just a single low and and then auto and neutral and reverse like a normal balanced gearbox but it's, a, it's got three gears okay and if you it now mind you the tuz 166 only has like 16 gallons of fuel or something in a really tiny roof rack however that thing can go across like three maps with that archaic gearbox it uses like 0. 0.2 gallons a minute with the archaic gearbox it's like one of the most fuel efficient trucks in the game if you use it with the top motor and the archaic gearbox And it's like, besides for it, like, just being really short wheelbase and like having a problem with rocks, the thing's got 39 inch jet MS3s. So it's actually like bigger tires than the Chevy. Like that's, that's another like sleeper vehicle. Like not many people like use it just because it's so tiny, but like if you actually use it the correct way, that, that archaic gearbox is insane. And it's all time all wheel drive and dip lock. So you don't even have to like switch, it just goes. Yeah, you can you can tell when you like go through my garage and the vehicles that I use because they have like snorkels and paint jobs and they have tires and they have everything set up, you know, because I've used them. Uh, what am I stuck on? Uh, I'm like hung up on a rock. Yep, that's it right there. But yeah, I, I have a I have a fully kitted out Tuz 166 in the in the garage because I have used it and it's it's actually like really fun, especially in like not very difficult maps, you know, like non Amir, non Cola, non Don. Like Don's kind of a it's too bumpy. It's too muddy and too bumpy for the Tuz, but like other maps that like like this map would probably be fine. Do like scouting, going to get watchtowers, pulling a small vehicle. Like if it had to pull that Chevy, we could probably do that. This was the path that I was like, I should look at it before I go down it. Well, we're looking at it. Just driving over trees. That's it. Not not that bad of a path. 
somewhere down here is where this stupid thing is. Uh, we're going around this. We're going around. Around, around, around. Yeah. Don't get hung up. I'm waiting for it to, like, hang me up on that. Was this a, a free repair spot? Nope, it's a task. Um, can I go around this too? It looks like it. And go up. Okay, I'm stuck. Yeah. Go up here. Go up here instead of going through that mud pit. Okay, almost hit that. Uh, I kind of suppose I could have went up that way, but let's go slowly. Looks like a whole lot of tire popping right here. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go that way. I see another way. Oh, don't pop my tire on that either. We'll go this way. Oh, except that's like a really uneven bump right here. Uh, not as bad as it looked. Okay, here's our Voron. Gonna get this thing flipped. There we go. Oh, for crying out loud. It just like immediately flipped again. It was like, nope. I don't want to be flipped. Okay, can I earn this some? Okay, there we go. Turn around the other way. Getting nighttime again. I miss it, by the way. I should probably get going soon. We'll do this one, and then uh, I think I'm going to call it after this. Because I need to work tomorrow. Hey, don't flip. Kind of uneven here. Okay, give me that side. Oh, he's got no fuel. He ain't driving anywhere. Oop, stop, stop. I gotta drag this thing's dead weight all the way up the hill. That's great. Hey. Okay. Gonna get more towards the crap. 
Roll all the way. Keep going. One more. Okay. You can stop. Right. Now. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Maybe we'll call it now. Uh, you know, I kind of deserve that. For all of the lucky, all of the extremely high luck things that happened today. This was the first time I actually flipped. And it flipped like five times to make up for the five times that I didn't flip. So, I think that's deserved. It's only fair. We'll just come and get this with something else uh, another time. I can come around this way. We'll come this way and get it. Um, you know, I almost want to take it back this way too, but I remember this, these river crossings being crappy too. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But yeah, I think this is where I'm going to call it. I'm getting kind of sleepy and I should probably go to sleep for work. So, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. And, uh, I got to find that. I got to find that one. The turbo, uh, most strong wig in the world is going to get turned into a clip because that was hilarious. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys uh, for hanging out, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.